make some Halloween yard uh, artwork. Uh, what we've done is, you've seen all the blow-up stuff, and pumpkins, and all the stuff you can buy in the store. Well, we're going to do something really simple and quick and a little creative. What I've done is I took a piece of plywood, half-inch plywood, and we hand-drew a witch. What I did is, is I went online, got some pictures, and got some ideas. Then I hand drew it, then we cut it out. Real simple, painted it black. Now, there's two things you can do. You can place it as is, and she just stands there. Or, at night, put a spotlight behind it, and you can project it on the house, and it looks pretty big, and it looks pretty cool. But, this is Wanda, Wicked Witch of the West. We need to make her counterpart today. So, what is the witch's favorite pet? A black cat. So what I've done is I've drawn the black cat on here. I've hand drawn it. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to cut it out, paint it black, and make it simple and easy. Let's just have some fun. Let's go to work. I'm just going to use the jigsaw and we're going to just start cutting it. Alright, now we've got our base cut out. Now I'll take a quick look at it and see maybe I want to trim up here a little bit. Maybe give the, the head a little bit more depth. But it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to paint it black and it's really sitting in the dark. So um, let's just trim up a little bit and get ready to paint it. Our trimming's done. All right, our trimming's done. So we're going to put a coat of paint on it. I like to do both sides. This way it gives you the option of, of using the cat either way. So here you go, I got the two of them. You could probably use another goat. Again, you're showing them off at night. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now that we got Wanda done, now we got her partner Felix, the cat, done. They will go great together, but we have to figure out a way how we're gonna be able to stick this in the ground. So what I've done is I have these insulation uh, pieces of wire that are made to hold up your insulation and I bent them so we have an L on them. Then is what I'm going to do is take staple guns and I'm going to put staples in there. I'm not going to put the staples all the way down because I'm going to want to take the hook ones, run them through there and then we're going to put it right into the ground. Okay, what we have here, if you want to project this off your house or the side of a wall or something, basically is what you need is you need to be able to stand your characters up. Uh, we got Wanda and Felix, and then you need a, a, a powerful spotlight. Now, Right now you can't see it because it's the daytime, but I just want to show you this. You only have to be so many feet away, and you really focus it by this. As you get closer, you do get bigger. As you pull it away, you get smaller. So depending on your space on your house and your wall, um, you, will, you will adjust your light. There you have it. That's a great way to set up some Halloween decorations. Have some fun with it. Simple and easy. Hope you learned something from this video. Hope you had some fun with it. Don't be limited to Halloween now. You know you can do other seasons. I'm just trying to give you some ideas here. Or other things. You can do pumpkins. You can do bats. Have the bats hanging and kind of floating around also. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed these ideas. Hope you learned something. Hope you do something. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deiniger with another Backyard Project. 
go out and have some fun.